let's have a little church. Yeah. Come on, let's have a little church. Look over and say, well, let the on this singing king. Sing Come on, Come on let's, let's have, have a church. Let's sing, man. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise, God. Right here. When I walked back in the back, he said, Lisa, you're burning. 
Glory to you.
I will lift my eyes into the hills for the most part of my help. My help comes from the Lord, the day you have been there. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not swallow. Behold, he that keepeth the ear shall neither swallow nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shaker upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy warm out and thy coming in from this time forth, even from the Lord. Let's pray. This morning, our most kind of Heavenly Father, we just stopped by in prospect just for a moment to tell you thank you. Father God, I can't tell you for what you have done, but I can tell you thank you. And I can let the world know that how good you are. And I just pause to tell you thank you. Father God, I ask you to come in this morning here in the midst of this service. Yes, Father God, help us to move self out of the way. Yes. Father God, self that made us, you made us. Yes. And help us, Father God, to praise you as you were worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. And Father God, to give you all the blessing that you need to be blessed. Yes. And Father God, I just thank you once again for my church family. Thank you, Lord. For what they did for me as I was going through my time in need. Father God, thank you for my pastor, Father God, for the prayers, for the encouraging words, Father, that they gave. Yes, thank you, Father God, for just being God and God all by yourself. Yes. Thank you, Father God, for giving me a heart and a mind for not giving up. Oh, not yes. questioning you, Father, but just letting you have your way. Yes. And Father God, thank you for the end you. results. Yes. And Father God, when we pray for the sick and shut yes. all around us, man, Father God, we want to this call to say, when you pray, pray for me. Yeah. Father God, I know you're able, I know you can. Father God, bless this service. Bless the choir. Bless everyone who came and out to represent and make up a home in this sanctuary today. Father God, we just need you right now. Just as leaders and continue leading the hours through this Tuesday land. And forgive us, Father, for all our sins and our shortcomings. And create us, Father, a clean heart and a new the right spirit and pay us, Father. I know you can and I believe you will. These things I ask you to make in Jesus' name.
Good morning, New Prospect. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know why I was chose to do this task. <laughs> you know, but it's all good. DC4L. <laughs> Come on down, 49 <laughs> I think that's why he picked me. <laughs> Brother Chad, we have truly enjoyed you and your music. Thank you for being a guitarist, one of our guitarists. And uh, Just as humble as we know how. Yes. Yes. 
that in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as God, small children, yes, knowing good and evil. And when the woman, look out now, saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eye, and a tree to be desired to make one wide, look out now, she took, that's not in there, she took off the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her hub with her, and he did eat. And the eye of them both were open. And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves able. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the God. And the Lord God called unto Adam. Get this, he didn't call you. The Lord God called unto Adam right. and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the God, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree which I commanded thee that thou should not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, uh, 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 she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. I will stop right there. God's word, please join Russell, for the saints of God. And God's word is all in the rest. I've said enough today. But I want to talk briefly from the subject. Uh, be careful who you listen to. Uh, be careful who you listen to. Because listening to the wrong folks will mess you up. One day in my early years, I, I had made it to the sixth grade. And, and in my life, and as I told you once before, I would carry sandwiches to school. They didn't have free lunches back then. And as a songwriter said, I came from a poor family. We didn't have much. But we was rich in God's love and God's grace. There was some chocolate milk in the wonder of that school. And I wanted that chocolate milk. A classmate of mine said, you can have that milk. I asked him again. I said, is this your milk? He said, yeah. I said, may I have that? He said, yes, you can have that milk. Little brown box of chocolate milk, my tongue began to run because I wanted that milk. And I began to take that box of milk and get ready to open it. I asked him again, I said, is this your milk? He said, yeah, you can have that milk. I hope that milk started drinking, then he told me what he did. <laughs> I had to, didn't have any money. If I had, I'd want to get the bought milk. Go home and get the money and bring it back for the person that had the milk for their little brother or sister. That taught me a lesson. You can't listen to everybody. Hello. Be careful who you listen to. I won't be brief. Anybody ever heard of the game Simon Says? Hello, somebody. I remember that game Simon Says when I was a younger person. Sometimes the children, they'll even uh, Jermaine and Katie and Sean probably play Simon Says. Come on, somebody. 
The goal of the job of the game is to acknowledge what Simon said and then do it. Am I now? When you stop to think about it, God played the same game with people today. But it's not a game. It's serious. And our eternal destiny hangs in the balance. Hello. As I get ready to talk just a little bit, I, don't know, I was going to talk about bringing that game, but no, that's okay. The one I got is the one that you hit and, and the lights go up and you follow the lights. Hello, talk to me here. But as we began to look at this lesson, number one is uh, the response. The danger of listening to the wrong people lead to great negative consequences. Response. When the woman, don't y'all ladies throw that at me, saw the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eye. A tree to be desired to make one why? She took the fruit and did eat and gave also to her husband. And he did eat. And that's where. Now, Adam told Eve what God had said. Because Eve wasn't even back. That was somebody. And if I were reason now, Adam told Eve what God had said. She wasn't there because when God saw that Adam was lonely, some folks say, I can't live without nobody. <laughs> oh. When God saw that Adam was lonely, the cows had cows to be with. Can I talk to you? Cats had cats to be with. Other animals. But Adam had nobody. Take my time here. God saw. I never read why Adam said, I need me a woman. Have you read? I never read why, 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 why Adam said, Look, uh, but God saw that Adam was alone. And God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a help meet. So I'm going to say maybe not meat. M-E-E-T. That's a helper. Don't get it wrong. And God caused a deep sleep to come on out and took a rib from his side. And God formed one man out of the rib. I believe you read the scripture where it said, she said, he said, she's bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. I seen a sign once that said sometimes the best man for a job is a woman. But then in correct God, can I preach to y'all? Left man in charge. The Bible said, so you see, we get to the point now where we want to bring the world into the church. And so the church being a light to the world. The Bible says, love not the world. These are things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Hello, somebody? Oh, I may not get me an amen, but that's all right. My help, I already feel the love present thing. My help, come on below. Now, 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 look at the natural uh, inherent relation here. And when they did eat, God verse 7, and the eyes of both of them was open. Then they knew that they were naked. They did it, but when they knew they were naked, can you picture sometimes, I remember when I was in Mississippi State, people used to street cross the campus, but naked. Can you picture that? They were naked and didn't know they was naked. That was somebody. But they tried to cover up they are what they done wrong. They sow figs, leaves together and made themselves able. They had knowledge of what they had done, but they tempted to cover it up. Can I write home? David messed up. David tried.
tried to cover it up. Hello? We ain't no better than they. We all mess up. And here we try to cover it up. Hello? We don't need to try to cover up. My parents taught me to hold up for what you've done wrong. So if you tell one lie, help me preach it here. You got to tell another. A lie won't stand up by itself. Tell one lie, get the lead. You got to tell another lie and lead. And you got to fall. You got to keep telling that. The best thing to do is to stand up and tell the truth. And when you repeat it, it's still the truth. Y'all might go say amen. Somebody say, well, why is he going here? I'm going to show you. The Bible says, blessed is the man that endures temptation. All of us is going to be tempted sooner or later. And when you are tempted, don't say God tempted me. God doesn't tempt anyone. Somebody said he tempted Abraham. No, he tested Abraham. He didn't kill Abraham. Blessed is a man that endures temptation when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. And the Lord has promised to him, uh -huh, which the Lord has promised to him, to them that love him. Now, I'm going to close in a minute. Response, we looked at that. Uh, we, now we're going to look at an instant regret. They couldn't stay in the presence of him because of their sin. When you listen to the wrong folks, it will mess you up. Hello, somebody. We all have listened to some wrong folks. We all have followed some bad advice. Hello, somebody. I went to the doctor the other day just for a checkup. What I told the doctor, I said, do this test again. <laughs> the nurse practitioner, that was the one I was telling that. She said, okay. And she said, if it comes out like you say, I'll take this other off. And I called back. Whatever they was testing was down below where it should be. The doctor wanted to talk to me. He says, we're going to check you every six months. I said, that's fine. As he told me, he said, it happened just like you said. You know what he said? He said, you bootleg on Sunday, don't you? <laughs> I told him, I said, no, I preach <laughs> on Sunday. He said, every Sunday? I said, every Sunday, except the fifth Sunday. And I may preach on the fifth Sunday. Hello, somebody. Right. Now, he came all the way up and set the appointment up, and he was talking to me, and I told him what I talked about last Sunday. And, then, and in the conversation, he forgot about his other patient and started standing there talking to me. I told him, I said, Doc, I'm going to use something you said one day the message. And the bottom line is, his comment was, if you just simply let folks know that you ain't perfect, they'll do the with you better. <laughs> Myself, I've often said to you all, uh, if you haven't seen it, you stand up. And George Taylor will sit down. Have y'all heard me say that? I, I, but one thing about it is that God told me to preach as well. I wasn't perfect then. Still ain't perfect now. You're not perfect because we're still here. God don't want no imperfectness in heaven. I got to leave y'all here. But their regret was that they understood the depth of their mistake. The Bible said, oh, close with me. They heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. What did Adam and his wife do? 
they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. Now God made the God. You don't hide from the man that made the tree you're trying to hide under. How you gonna hide in your house, in your car? Yeah, some folks they try to sneak around. They be tipping around. Y'all know what I mean? They be tipping around so that they don't want folks to know they're coming. So they take their car and park it on the hill, cut the lights off, and let it roll down there. Can I push y'all? You, 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 you can't hide from God. Then some folks, they so slick. They get somebody else's car. Drive it to meet that night. You can't. God made the man made the car. So how in the world can you hide? You don't throw your hands up and say, God, I am undone. I'm a wretch and I'm unclean. I believe y'all know. They heard. They hid themselves. They hid themselves. You can't hide from God. Jonah tried to hide. He couldn't hide. God made the thief that swallowed up Jonah. But I had to leave here. God did not make Jonah pray. When Jonah was down in the belly of that fish, and his ain't died, that was dead. But Jonah was there. Can you imagine him being the belly of the whale? Somebody said, Lord, the mouth is too small to swallow me. You better be careful who you listen to. Jesus said so it was back then. And as Jonah stayed in the bed of a whale, so shall, is that the word? The Son of God be down there. <laughs> is that right? Uh, the Lord said it was a whale. I believe it was a whale. <laughs> Come on, talk to me here. Wait a minute now. Let me slow him. Do I have any Bible readers here? Did anybody read that? Or am I just making it up? Huh? Did Simon say that? Or is it the word of God? Huh? God called unto Adam. Get this. Even though the serpent began Eve, God didn't call me. You mean and get this. God didn't call me. God knew where the problem was. He knew what had happened. But the Lord God called unto Adam. He called Adam because he gave the Lord Adam. Tell him well about that. Adam said, I heard thy voice in the God. And I was afraid because I was naked. And I hid myself. That's the word. God said, who told thee thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the free tree? Well, I commanded thee that thou should not eat. That's, that's the word. It's in the word. And the man said, this woman, whom thou gave us to be with me. Listen to what Adam said. He said, Lord, it's your fault. He said, this woman, whom thou gave us to me. Huh? Adam didn't make the woman God did. He's really saying, Lord, it's your fault. God, it's your fault. This woman, whom thou gave us to be with, to be with me, she gave me off the tree, and I did eat. Then God went to the woman. Then he went to the servant. He went. It's right here in the word. Oh, I'm going to leave you in a minute here. And notice something here. And the Lord God said unto the woman, and this is verse 13, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did it. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, all of them are going to get punished. Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cows and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go, and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity, isn't there, between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. 
unto the world. Listen, look, notice the order that he's doing here. He said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow shall thou bring forth children. That's why you have children. <laughs> and thy desire shall be unto who? Thy who? Husband. Uh oh, you don't want to hear this. And he shall rule over thee. So I remember he didn't say that. Yes, he did. Right there in his word. Read it when you go home. But then he didn't leave out of that. He said that. Hmm. Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. God didn't say the woman I gave you. He said thy wife. And has eaten of the tree. Of which I commanded thee saying thou shalt not eat of. Cursed in the ground for thy sake. In sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also in bristles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herds of the field. In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken. For dust thou art, and to dust thou shalt return. Is that all right? It's all right. I'm not done with you yet. But there is regret. Hello, somebody. Now, but before I close, don't nobody get upset with me. Following is a part of life. You are not fit to be if you're not willing to follow. I know we train in deacons to be deacons, acting officers. We train in ushers. We train in acting deaconettes. Part of following, part of life is following. If you are not fit, to, you are not fit to lead if you're not willing to follow. That's right. Come to that one more time. I oftentimes say in order to be a good leader, mm -hmm. you got to be a little good father. Mm -hmm. As a deacon, I ran with no deacons. Mm -hmm. Didn't run with none of them. When folks brought me mess, they didn't come back no more mm -hmm. because of what I said to them. When the Lord elevated me to be a minister, I didn't run with no ministers. My wife said no more. When folks said something to me that I didn't agree with, I told them what was right, and I went on about my business. Following is a part of life. You're not fit to lead if you're not willing to follow. Can I guess what happened this happened? Amen. Students don't pass because they don't follow the teacher. Students follow the teacher. Teachers follow the principal, and the principal follow the superintendent. to do some following, but when you come to the church, we don't want to follow what God said. Okay. Doctors follow, administrators, board members follow, chairmen, wives should follow their husbands. Amen. Children follow their parents. Younger siblings follow their older siblings. Can I get a witness here? Ah, I got to leave you here. Choir members are supposed to follow the choir director. But everybody should follow Christ. Amen. Hello? Uh, I believe Dr. Matthew said it so beautiful. Uh, when he said leading and following the church of our Lord is more important than leading and following in any organization. Oh, I don't hear it close now. Is that all right? Yeah. When people don't lead and follow in school, students are not educated. When people don't lead and follow the church, spirits are not fed to you come with God. When people don't lead and follow the hospital, lives are lost. But when people don't lead and follow the church, souls are lost. Which one is more important? I got to get ready to leave you here. But we need to understand that God gives us a remedy for any situation that we there is a 
obey me then from God. Don't give me the call. Whether it's a sinful situation, whether it's a financial or whatever it is. In other words, God, let the church say God, Bye. makes a way out of no way. Yes. Can I get a witness here? Yes. God uh, made a way uh, for David to defeat Goliath. Yes. Can I get a witness here? God, let the church say God, Bye. made a way for uh, Gideon uh, to defeat the Midianites. <laughs> God made a way for Joshua uh, to defeat Jericho. Nobody but God. God made a way for Moses uh -huh, to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt land. God made a way for Elijah to defeat 850 false prophets I China on Mount Carmel. God made a way for Elijah uh -huh, to heal Naaman Lebanon. Can I get a witness here? Uh -huh. There is a remedy. Chapter uh, 1 verse 7 14 said, uh, In uh, uh, my people, uh, which are called uh, uh, by my name, uh, uh, shall uh, uh, humble themselves uh, and pray uh, and seek my faith uh, and turn uh, from the wicked ways. Uh, then uh, will I hear from heaven uh, and forgive. Well, uh, a crown of life, uh, my God, uh, I didn't all right. 